Okay guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet. Uh, now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 3, Equilibrium. And the problem says that a 4 kg sphere rests on the smooth parabolic surface. Determine the normal force it exerts on the surface and the mass mb of the block b needed to hold it in the equilibrium position shown. So this sphere which has a mass of 4 kg is in equilibrium so we are required to find the normal force and the mass mb of this block. So the normal force will be acting perpendicular to the slope of this parabolic surface at this particular instant when x is equal to 0 0.4. So here the x value is 0 0.4 meters and the surface the shape of the surface is qn in the in the form of this function which is y of x function which is 2.5 x square so let's say that we want to find the slope of this surface at x is equal to 0.4 so we have to draw a tangent line here so we have to draw a tangent line here like this so if i complete this triangle so then this is this is the change in uh, change in x this is the change in y and this is the slope and let's say the slope is making this tangent to the path is making some angle theta so if we apply tan theta if we apply tan theta then tan theta is this dy by dx and if we want to find the angle of this of the tangent at x is equal to theta so we have to evaluate uh, the derivative of this function at x is equal to 0 0.4 meters so now dy by dx is the derivative of this function derivative of the y of x function this is y equals to 2.5 x square so now we can write that from this we can write that dy by dx this will be 2 into 2.5 times x and 2 into 2.5 is 5 right so this is 5x so now if you want to find this dy by dx when x is equal to 0.4 we can put x is equal to 0.4 in this equation for the derivative dy by dx. So this is 5 into 0 0.4. So 5 into 0 0.4 is 2. So from this we can write that tan theta equals to 2. So if you want to find that angle, so we need to take tan inverse of 2. So tan inverse of 2 gives us 63.43 degree angle. So theta is 63.43 degrees. So now this means that if we draw a tangent to this surface when x is equal to 0 0.4 so that tangent to the surface is going to make that angle theta which is 63.43. So now if we consider the free body diagram so this is that sphere and this is that tangent to the path and it is going to make that same angle theta that we have just determined that is 63.43. And if I draw if if I draw my coordinate system let's say this is my positive x and y coordinates let's say this is my positive x this is my positive y and if I extend the line of action of this tension in the rope so the tension in the rope will be equal to the weight of this uh, block and the mass of this block is mb we are required to find that so the tension in the rope will be equal to mb times g this is the weight of block b and the normal force is going to act going to act in the uh, in this direction and this will be perpendicular to that tangent right since the normal is always perpendicular to the surface so this is that normal which is required as well and now if if this is that theta and if i extend this y axis is in the downward direction so this is going to make 90 degree with this horizontal surface with this x axis is if this is that x axis is so it is going to make 90 degree with the horizontal and this normal is perpendicular with this tangent line so if if this n is perpendicular with this tangent line and this y axis is perpendicular with this horizontal line so the angle between this tangent and this horizontal is theta then the angle between this normal and this y-axis is also theta. 
right so if this is theta then this angle is also theta so now we know that theta so from this we can say that this n is going to make that same angle theta with the y axis is and that theta is 63.43 degrees and now uh, this sphere has a weight as well so that weight is going to act in the downward direction and that weight is going to act at its center and the weight of this block is 4 times g that is 4 times 9.81 newtons so now uh, we are required to find this n and we are required to find this mb so if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 since this sphere is in equilibrium so we need to resolve this n and this uh, weight of block b into its components so this weight of block b will have one component in this direction and here we are given this that the this tension in the rope or this rope is making 60 degree angle so this is 60 degree this is given so if this is 60 degree then this is mv g cos of 60 degrees and similarly this weight of mv will have one which will be acting in this direction so this one will be the sine component right this one will be the this will be mv g sine of 60 degrees similarly if we resolve this n into its component so it will have one come which will be acting in this direction and if this is 63.43 so then this is n sine of 63.43 degrees and similarly this n will have uh, one component which will be acting in this direction that is in the upward direction so this component and this component is cos component since the angle is made with this component so this is n cos of 63.43 degrees now we can apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 and the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 so as we can see and this is our positive x direction as we can see so this mbg cos of 60 is acting in the positive x so i will write plus mb g is 9.81 and this is cos of 60 degrees and this sine component of n is acting in the x direction so i have to write minus and that is n sine of 63.43 and this is equal to zero and if i bring this whole term to the other side of equation so it will become positive so now if we divide both sides of equation by sine of 63.43 so we will get this n in terms of b in terms of the mass of that block b so that is 9.81 cos of 60 divided by sine of 63.43 so we can say that this ratio is 5.48 so from this we can say that n is equal to 5.48 mb so m the normal force is 5.48 times the mass of that block b now if we apply the summation of forces along the y axis is equal to 0 and this is our positive y direction so as we can see that um, this this component this cos component of n is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus n and now n is in terms of mb right so i will write that this is 5.48 cos of 63.43 then this component this is mbg so i will write plus mb this is 5.48 mb remember this is 5. 5.48 mb this is n right and this is mbg so mbg is 9.81 sine of 60 and minus this weight so weight is 4 into 9.81 so i will write minus 4 into 9.81 and this is equal to 0 so if i bring this weight to the other side so it will become positive so we will have the equation like this let me simplify this this is 5.48 cos of 63.43 5.48 cos of 63.43 this is 2.45 mb 
2.45 MB plus this is 9.81 sine of 60 9.81 sine of 60 so this is 8.50 approximately 8.50 MB which is equal to 4 into 9.81 and now we can add both of these so 2.45 plus 8.50 this is 10.95 MB equals to 4 into 9.81 and if we divide both sides of the equation by 10.95 we will be able to find that mass of the block which is required so this is 4 into 9.81 4 into 9.81 divided by 10.95 so this is 3.58 let's say this is 3.584 kgs this is mb and now if you want to find that n so we have to plug this value in this equation so from this we can write that n is 5.48 into mb which is 3.584 so we can say that 5.48 into 3.584 so this is 19.64 so n is 19.64 newtons so this is that n which the surface is going to apply on the sphere and this is the mass of the block which is going to keep the sphere in equilibrium